going to have a look at the limestone cycle. What we're going to do is take some calcium carbonate, limestone, and we're going to heat it, and that's going to produce quicklime or calcium oxide. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add water to this to make slate lime or calcium hydroxide, and then that will dissolve in a significant amount of water and to make lime water. And then what we'll do is we'll blow in it, which is the test for carbon dioxide, and we will produce calcium carbonate all over again. And we'll have done the limestone cycle. Let's have a look at some of these substances. Here we have some chalk, some little pieces, and perhaps a slightly bigger piece of chalk. It's a white, crumbly sort of material. We'll have a look at some limestone. This is much darker, much greyer sort of substance and much, much harder. Doesn't leave an impression on me at all. And then we have marble, which is again a very hard rock. Let's take a small piece of limestone and we'll weigh it. First of all, we'll put on the weighing boat and we will zero that. 3117. Now that we have weighed our piece of marble, we then need to cut off a small piece of wire, this is nichrome wire, and what we're going to do is we're going to wrap the piece of limestone in this to form a small basket type shape that will hold the piece of limestone in place while we heat it very strongly. We need to make a sort of a basket shape simply because this is going to become very hot and the wire will expand and allow the limestone to fall out. Once we've made the little basket then we insert it into a holder, tighten it up and then this can be used to hold the piece of limestone in a flame for a while. Let's now put the limestone in a clamp and stand and we'll then put it in front of a propane burner, burns at a higher temperature than a Bunsen burner. And we will heat this strongly for a few minutes. As the limestone is heated, it starts to change colour, suggesting that some sort of chemical reaction is taking place. After heating this for a few minutes, we can start to see the whole piece of rock has changed colour and is starting to take on a whitish appearance. Now that the rock is gone completely white and it's glowing red hot from within, what we can now do is turn off the flame and allow the piece of calcium oxide to cool and then what we'll do is we'll weigh it again so we compare it with its former weight. Now we've allowed this to cool we're going to place this in a weighing bath boat on 
the balance. So the first thing I need to do is to ensure the balance is zeroed. And once the balance is zeroed, I can then put on the piece of calcium oxide to see what weight difference we've got. And we can see from the balance the weight is 1.805. We now have calcium oxide and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a drop or two of water on this. Now we've made some calcium hydroxide, what we're going to do is make some lime water and for this what we're going to do is take a small amount of the product that we've made and what we're going to do is we're going to dissolve a small amount of this in some water and what we need to do now is get this to dissolve and we do that by giving this quite a vigorous shake. Now that we've made our lime water and it's been filtered what we're going to do is see if it works and we're going to test for carbon dioxide. What we're going to do is pour some of the lime water into this flask and then what we're going to do is I'm going to blow into here to see if this lime water will turn cloudy. So that's our limestone cycle. We started off with limestone, calcium carbonate, we've heated it, it gave off carbon dioxide and produced calcium oxide or quicklime. We then added water to this and it made calcium hydroxide and then we added copious amounts of water and we dissolved it in lots, that lots of water to make lime water which we then filtered to make that clear solution which then when we bubbled carbon dioxide through it turned back into a precipitate of calcium carbonate. There we are, the limestone cycle.